people who live on the southwest side of Warren are concerned about what they call a dangerous intersection. The light there was disabled nearly three years ago. City leaders say if it wasn't disabled after a traffic study, the city could have been liable for accidents in that area. Here's Trumbull County reporter Nadine Grimley. Vic Walker lives at the intersection of Tonda Avenue and Palmyra Road. It's very dangerous. The traffic signal there was put in flashing mode almost three years ago following a traffic study. I would like to see the light back up. Walker's house has been in his family for decades. He remembers a number of accidents both before the light was disabled and after. The latest happening early Saturday morning, several hundred feet before the intersection. According to a police report, alcohol is suspected in the crash. Still, Walker feels speeding on Todd Avenue has become an increasing issue. We call it Todd Raceway. Since they took the lights out, you got a four-lane highway coming off of a main main road. City Engineering, Planning and Building Department Director Paul McCoskey sent us data from a 2022 Eastgate Traffic and Speed Study that found the average speed on Todd Avenue to be just under 36 miles per hour. I mean, the speed limit is 35, and if they're doing 50, we, we think they're doing good. The intersection is a topic of discussion for both women running to represent Warren's sixth ward. Leah Dotson lives down the road from the intersection and has collected more than 600 signatures from concerned residents. All we're asking for as, as a community is to take us seriously, understand that we have legitimate concerns, uh, do something at least about the speed, but something needs to be done about this light because we just really don't feel safe. Penia Price says she understands both the concerns from people who live in the area and the city's position on the light. If the light isn't coming back, let's come up with some solution. Let's move on from that issue and let's at least put signs and a traffic officer until we can figure this out. Warren Director of Safety and Service Eddie Colbert says the city is looking into adding additional signage near the intersection. In Warren, Nadine Grimley, WKBN 27 First News. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.